goes and we are gone, and our place never sees us again. But the love of the Lord is everlasting upon those who hold him in fear. His justice reaches out to children's children when they keep his covenant in truth, when they keep his will in their mind. The Lord has set his sway in heaven, and his kingdom is ruling over all. Give thanks to the Lord, all his angels, mighty in power, fulfilling his word, who heed the voice of his word. Give thanks to the Lord, all his hosts, his servants who do his will. Give thanks to the Lord, all his works, in every place where he rules. My soul, give thanks to the Lord. In every place where he rules, my soul, give thanks to the Lord. Lord, listen to my prayer. Turn your ear to my appeal. You are faithful. You are just. Give answer. Do not call your servant to judgment, for no one is just in your sight. The enemy pursues my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness, like the dead long forgotten. Therefore my spirit falls. My heart is numb within me. I remember the days that are past. I ponder all your works. I muse on what your hand has wrought, and to you I stretch out my hands. Like a parched land, my soul thirsts for you. Lord, make haste and answer, for my spirit falls within me. Do not hide your face, lest I become like those in the grave. In the morning, let me know your love, for I put my trust in you. Make me know the way I should walk. To you I lift up my soul. Rescue me, Lord, from my enemies. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you, O Lord, are my God. Let your good spirit guide me in ways that are level and smooth. For your name's sake, Lord, save my life. In your justice, save my soul from distress. In your love, make an end of my foes. Destroy all those who oppress me, for I am your servant, O Lord. You are faithful, you are just, give answer. Do not call your servant to judgment. You are faithful, you are just, give answer. Do not call your servant to judgment. Let your good spirit guide me in ways that are level and smooth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and ever, amen. Alleluia, 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 glory be to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory be to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace from on high, and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace throughout the world, for the well-being of God's holy churches, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy church, and for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our most holy universal pontiff, Francis, Pope of Rome, for our most blessed patriarch, Sotoslav, our most reverend metropolitan Boris, our God-loving Bishop Andrew, the reverend priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this nation under God, for our government and for all the military, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the seafarers and travelers, for the sick and the suffering, for those held captive in nation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy that we be, may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and misfortune. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help and save. Have mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace.
Remembering our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you. For all glory, honor, and worship befit you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. In the first tone, the Lord is God and has appeared to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. The Lord is God and has appeared to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. But in the Lord's name, I crushed them. The Lord is God and has appeared to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. No, I shall not die. I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. The Lord is God and has appeared to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. The is God and has appeared to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. When you, O Lord, were baptized in the Jordan, worship of the Trinity was revealed. The voice of the Father bore witness to you, calling me the beloved Son and the Spirit in the form of a dove confirmed the world's certainty. Glory to you, O Christ God, who appeared and enlightened the world. When you, O Lord, were baptized in the Jordan, worship of the Trinity was revealed. The voice of the Father bore witness to you, naming you the beloved Son, and the Spirit, in the form of a dove, confirmed the word certainty. Glory to you, O Christ God, who appeared and enlightened the world. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. When you, O Lord, were baptized in the Jordan, worship of the Trinity was revealed. The voice of the Father bore witness to you, naming you the beloved Son, and the Spirit, in the form of a dove, confirmed the word certainty. Glory to you, O Christ God, who appeared and enlightened the world. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In you, O Lord, I 
take refuge, let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue and deliver me. Listen to me and save me. Be my rock and refuge, my secure stronghold. For you are my rock and fortress. My God, rescue me from the power of the wicked, from the clutches of the violent. You are my hope, Lord, my trust, God from my youth. On you I depend since birth. From my mother's womb you are my strength. My hope in you never wavers. I have become a portent to many, but you are my strong refuge. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, shall sing you glory every day. Do not cast me aside in my old age. As my strength fails, do not forsake me, for my enemies speak against me. They watch and plot against me. They say God has abandoned that one. Pursue, seize the wretch. No one will come to the rescue. God, do not stand far from me. My God, hasten to help me. Bring to a shameful end those who attack me. Cover with content and scorn those who seek my ruin. I will always hope in you and add to all your praise. My mouth shall proclaim your just deeds day after day, your acts of deliverance, though I cannot number them all. I will speak of mighty works of the Lord. O oh God, I will tell of your singular justice. God, you have taught me from my youth. To this day I proclaim your wondrous deeds. Now that I am old and gray, do not forsake me, God, that I may proclaim your might to all generations yet to come. Your power and justice, God, to the highest heaven. You have done great things, O God, who is your equal. You have sent me many bitter afflictions, but once more revive me. From the watery depths of the earth, once more raise me up. Restore my honor, turn and comfort me, that I may praise you with the lyre for your faithfulness, my God, and sing to you with a harp, O Holy One of Israel. My lips will shout for joy as I sing your praise, my soul too, which you have redeemed. Yes, my tongue shall recount your justice day by day, for those who sought my ruin will have been shamed and disgraced. O oh God, your judgment to the king, your justice of the son of kings, that he may govern your people with justice, your oppressed with right judgment, that the mountain may yield their bounty, for the people in the hills great abundance, that he may defend the oppressed among the people, save the poor and crush the oppressor, May he live as long as the sun endures, like the moon through all generations. May he be like rain coming down from the fields, like showers watering the earth. The abundance may flourish in his days, great bounty till noon, till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, from the river to the ends of the earth. May his Foes kneel before him, his enemies lick the dust. May the kings of Tarshish and the islands bring tribute. The kings of Arabia and Seba offer gifts. May all kings bow before him, all nations serve him. For he rescues the poor when they cry out, the oppressed who have no one to help. He shows pity to the needy and the poor and saves the lives of the poor. From extortion and violence he frees them, for precious is their blood in his sight. Long may he leave receiving gold from Araha, prayed for without cease. Blessed day by day may wheat abound in the land, flourish even on the mountain heights. May his fruit increase like Lebanon's, his wheat like the grass of the land. May his name be blessed forever, as long as the sun may his name endure. 
May the tribes of the earth give blessings with his name. May all the nations regard him as favored. Blessed is the Lord, the God of Israel, who alone does wonderful deeds. Blessed be his glorious name forever. May all the earth be filled with the Lord's glory. Amen and amen. How good God is to the upright, the Lord, to those who are clean of heart. But as for me, I lost my balance, my feet all but slipped, because I was envious of the arrogant when I saw the prosperity of the wicked, for they suffer no pain. Their bodies are healthy and sleek. They are free of the burdens of life, they are not afflicted like others. This pride adorns them as a necklace. Violence clothes them as a robe. One of their stupidity comes sin. Out of their stupidity comes sin. Evil thoughts flood their hearts. They scoff and spout their malice. From on high they utter threats. They set their mouths against the heavens. Their tongues heart roam the earth, so my people turn to them and drink deeply of their words. They say, does God really know? Does the Most High have any knowledge? Such then are the wicked, always carefree, increasing their wealth. Is it vain that I have kept my heart clean, wash my hands in innocence? For I am afflicted day by day, chastised every morning. Had I thought I would speak as they do, I would have betrayed your people. Though I have to understand all of this, it was too difficult for me till I entered the sanctuary of God and came to understand their end. You set them indeed on a slippery road. You hurl them down to ruin. How suddenly they are devastated undone by disasters forever. They are like a dream after waking, Lord, dismissed like the shadows when you arise. Since my heart was embittered and my soul deeply wounded, I was stupid and could not understand. I was like a brute beast in your presence. Yet I am always with you. You take hold of my right hand. With your counsel you guide me and at the end receive me with honor. Whom else have I in the heavens? None beside you delights me on earth. Though through my flesh and my heart fail, God is the rock of my heart, my portion forever. But those who are far from you perish, you destroy those unfaithful to you. As for me, be near, be near God is my good, to make the Lord God my refuge. I shall declare all your works to the gates of the daughter Zion. Why, God, have you cast, me, cast us off forever? Why does your anger burn against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your flock that you gathered of old, the tribe you redeemed as your own. Remember Mount Zion where you dwell. Turn your steps toward the ruins, toward the sanctuary devastated by the enemy. Your foes march triumphantly in your shrine. They set up their own tokens of victory. They hacked away the foresters gathering bows, swinging their axes in a thicket of trees. They smashed all your engraved work, pounded it with hammer and pick. They set your sanctuary on fire, the abode of your name they raised and profaned. They said in their, how in their hearts, destroy them all, burn all the shrines of God in the land. Now we see no signs, we have no prophets, no one who knows how long, how long, O oh God, shall the enemy jeer? Shall the foe invite your name forever? Why draw back your right hand? Why keep it idle beneath your cloak? Yet you, God, my King from it all, winning victories throughout the earth. 
You stirred up the sea in your might. You smashed the heads of the dragons on the waters. You crushed the heads of the Leviathan, tossed him for food to the sharks. You opened springs and torments, brought dry land out of the primeval waters. Yours the day and yours the night. You set the moon and the sun in place. You fixed all the limits of the earth, summer and winter you made. Remember how the enemy jeered O Lord, how a foolish people has reviled your name. Do not surrender those who praise you. Do not forever forget forever the life of the afflicted. Look to your covenant, for the land is filled with gloom. The pastures with violence, let not the oppressed turn back in shame. May the poor and needy praise your name. Arise, God, defend your cause. Remember the constant cheers of the fools. Do not ignore the clamor of your foes, the unceasing uproar of your enemies. We thank you, God. We give thanks, we call upon your name, declare your wonderful deeds. You said you will choose the time I will judge fairly. The earth and all the inhabitants will quake, but I have firmly set as pillars. So I say to the boastful, do not boast. To the wicked, do not raise your horns. Do not raise your horns against heaven. Do not speak arrogantly against the rock, for judgment comes not from east or from west, nor from the desert or from the mountains, but from God who decides, who brings some low and raises others high. Yes, a cup in the Lord's hand, foaming wine fully spiced. When God pours it out, they will drain it even to the dregs. All the wicked of the earth must drink, but I will rejoice forever. I will sing praise to the God of Jacob, who has said, I will break off all the horns of the wicked, but from the horns of the just shall be lifted up. Renowned in Judah is God, whose name is great in Israel. Or Salem is God's tent, a shelter on Zion. There the flashing arrows were shattered, shield, sword, and weapons of war. Terrible and awesome are you, stronger than the ancient mountains. Despoiled are the bold warriors, they sleep their final sleep. The hands of all the mighty have failed. At your war, O God of Jacob, chariots and steeds lay still. So terrible and awesome are you. You can stand, who can stand before you and your great anger. For the heavens you pronounce sentence. The earth was terrified and reduced to silence. When you arose, O God, the judgment to deliver the afflicted of the land, even wrathful Eden praises you. The remnant of Hannah keeps your feast. Make and keep vows to the Lord your God. May all present bring gifts to this awesome God who checks the pride of the princes, inspires awe among the kings. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to you, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to you, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help and save, have mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Remembering our most holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life 
to Christ our God. From the depths of night our soul longs for you, our God. For your commandments are a light upon the earth. Give us understanding that we may be perfected in righteousness and holiness in fear of you. For it is you whom we glorify as our true God. Turn your ear and hear us, O Lord. Remember all those present and praying with us. Remember them by their own name and save them by your might. Bless your people and sanctify your inheritance. Give peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests and to all your people. For blessed and glorified is your most honored and sublime name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Page 826. The sessional hymn in the third tone, O Christ, our Savior, you appeared in the Jordan. O Christ, our Savior, you appeared in the Jordan and were baptized by the forerunner. And the Spirit testified that you are the beloved Son. The Holy Spirit descended upon you and manifested that you are co-eternal with the Father. Having been enlightened by you, we cry out, Glory to the one God in the Holy Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. O Christ, our Savior, you appeared in the Jordan and were baptized by the forerunner. And the Spear testified that you are the beloved Son. The Holy Spirit descended upon you and manifested that you are co-eternal with the Father. Having been enlightened by you, we cry out, Glory to the one God in the Holy Trinity. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Psalm 78. Attend my people to my teaching. Listen to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in, sor in story, drawing lessons from of old. We have heard them, we know them. Our ancestors have recited them to us. We do not keep them from our children. We recite them to the next generation, the praiseworthy and mighty deeds of the Lord, the wonders that he performed. God set up a decree in Jacob, established a law in Israel. What he commanded our ancestors, they were to teach their children, that the next generation might come to know children yet to be born. In him they were to recite them to their children, that they too might put their trust in God and not forget the works of God, 
keeping his commandments. They were not to be like their ancestors, a rebellious and defiant generation, a generation whose heart was not constant, whose spirit was not faithful to God, like the ranks of Ephraimite archers who retreated on the day of battle. They did not keep God's covenant. They refused to walk by his law. They forgot his works, the wondrous deeds he had shown them. In the sight of their ancestors, God did wonders. In the land of Egypt, the plain of Zoan, he split the sea and led them across, piling up the waters rigid as walls. God led them with a cloud by day, all night with the light of fire. He split rock in the desert, gave water to drink, abounding as the deep. He made streams flow from crags, drew out rivers of water. But they went on sinning against him, rebelling against the Most High in the desert. They tested God in their hearts, demanding the food they craved. They spoke against God and said, Can God spread a table in the desert? True, when he struck the rock, water gushed forth and the wadis flooded. But can he also provide bread, give meat to his people? The Lord heard and grew angry. Fire blazed up against Jacob. Anger flared up against Israel, for they did not believe in God, did not trust in his saving power. So he commanded the skies above, the doors of heaven be opened. God rained manna upon them for food. Bread from heaven he gave them. All ate a meal fit for heroes, food he sent in abundance. He stirred up the east wind in the heavens. By his power, God brought on the south wind. He rained meat upon them like dust, winged fowl like the sands of the sea, brought them down in the midst of the camp, round about their tents. They ate and were well filled. He gave them what they had craved, but while they still wanted more and the food was still in their mouths, God's anger attacked them, killed their best warriors, laid low the youth of Israel. In spite of all this, they went on sinning. They did not believe in his wonders. God ended their days abruptly, their years in sudden death. When he slew them, they began to seek him. They again inquired of their God. They remembered that God was their rock, God most high, their redeemer. But they deceived him with their mouths, lied to him with their tongues. Their hearts were not constant toward him. They were not faithful to his covenant. But God is merciful and forgave their sin. He did not utterly destroy them. Time and again he turned back his anger, unwillingly to unleash all his rage. He was mindful that they were flesh, a breath that passes and does not return. How often they rebelled against God in the desert, grieved him in the wasteland. Again and again they tested God, provoked the Holy One of Israel. They did not remember his power the day he redeemed them from the foe. When he displayed his wonders in Egypt, his marvels in the plain of Zoan, God changed their rivers to blood, their streams they could not drink. He sent insects that devoured them, frogs that destroyed them. He gave their harvest to the caterpillar, the fruits of their labor to the locust. He killed their vines with hail, their sycamores with frost. He exposed their flocks to deadly hail, their cattle to lightning. He unleashed against them his fiery breath, roar, fury, and distress, storming messengers of death. He cleared a path for his anger. He did not spare them from death. He delivered their beasts to the plague. 
he struck all the firstborn of Egypt, love's first child in the tents of Ham. God led forth his people like sheep. He guided them through the desert like a flock. He led them unsecure and unafraid, but the sea enveloped their enemies. He brought them to his holy land, the mountain his right hand had won. God drove out the nations before them, apportioned them a heritage by lot, settled the tribes of Israel in their tents. But they tested, rebelled against God most high. His decrees they did not observe. They turned back, deceitful like their ancestors. They proved false like a bow with no tension. They enraged him with their high places, with their idols they goaded him. God heard and grew angry. He rejected Israel completely. He forsook the shrine at Shiloh, the tent where he dwelt with humans. He gave up his might into captivity, his glorious ark into the hands of the foe. God abandoned his people to the sword. He was enraged against his heritage. Fire consumed their young men. Their young women heard no wedding songs. Their priests fell by the sword. Their widows made no lamentations. Then the Lord awoke as from sleep, like a warrior from the effects of wine. He put his enemies to flight. Everlasting shame he dealt them. He rejected the tent of Joseph, chose not the tribe of Ephraim. God chose the tribe of Judah, Mount Zion, which he favored. He built his shrine like the heavens, like the earth which he founded forever. He chose David, his servant, took him from the sheepfold. From tending sheep, God brought him to shepherd Jacob, his people, Israel, his heritage. He shepherded them with a pure heart, with skilled hands he guided them. O oh God, the nations have invaded your heritage. They have defiled your holy temple, have laid Jerusalem in ruins. They have left the corpses of your servants as food for the birds of the heavens, the flesh of your faithful for the beasts of the earth. They have spilled their blood like water all around Jerusalem, and no one is left to bury them. We have become the reproach of our neighbors, the scorn and derision of those around us. How long, Lord, will you be angry forever? Will your rage keep burning like fire? Pour out your wrath on nations that reject you, on kingdoms that do not call on your name, for they have devoured Jacob, laid waste his home. Do not hold past iniquities against us. May your compassion come quickly, for we have been brought very low. Help us, God our Savior, for the glory of your name. Deliver us, pardon our sins for your name's sake. Why should the nations say, where is their God? Before our eyes make clear to the nations that you avenge the blood of your servants. Let the groans of prisoners come before you. By your great power, free those doomed to death. Lord, inflict on our neighbors sevenfold the disgrace they inflicted on you. Then we, your people, the sheep of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever. Through all ages we will declare your praise. Shepherd of Israel, listen, guide of the flock of Joseph. From your throne upon the cherubim reveal yourself to Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. Stir up your power, come to save us. O Lord of hosts, restore us. Let your face shine upon us that we may be saved. Lord of hosts, how long will you burn with anger while your people pray? You have fed them the bread of tears, made them drink tears in abundance. You have left us to be fought over by our neighbors. Our enemies deride us. O Lord of hosts, restore us. Let your face shine upon us that we may be saved. 
You brought a vine out of Egypt. You drove away the nations and planted it. You cleared the ground. It took root and filled the land. The mountains were covered by its shadow, the cedars of God by its branches. It sent out bows as far as the sea, shoots as far as the river. Why have you broken down the walls so that all who pass by pluck its fruit? The boar from the forest strips the vine, the beast of the field feeds upon it. Turn again, Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see, attend to this vine, the shoot your right hand has planted. Those who would burn or cut it down, may they perish at your rebuke. May your help be with the man at your right hand, with the one whom you once made strong. Then we will not withdraw from you. Revive us and we will call on your name. Lord of hosts, restore us. Let your face shine upon us that we may be saved. Sing joyfully to God our strength. Shout in triumph to the God of Jacob. Take up a melody, sound the timbrel, the sweet-sounding harp and lyre. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, at the full moon, on your solemn feast. For this is a law in Israel, an edict of the God of Jacob, who made it a decree for Joseph when he came out of the land of Egypt. I hear a new oracle, I relieve their shoulders of the burden, their hands put down the basket. In distress you called and I rescued you, unseen I spoke to you in thunder. At the waters of Meribah I tested you and said, listen my people, I give you warning, if only you will obey me Israel. There must be no foreign god among you. You must not worship an alien god. I, the Lord, am your god who brought you up from the land of Egypt. Open wide your mouth that I may fill it. But my people did not listen to my words. Israel did not obey me. So I gave them over to the hardness of heart. They followed their own designs. But even now, if my people would listen, if Israel would walk in my paths, in a moment I would subdue their foes against their enemies, unleash my hand. Those who hate the Lord would tremble, their doom sealed forever. But Israel I would feed with the finest wheat, satisfy them with honey from the rock. God rises in the divine council, gives judgment in the midst of the gods. How long will you judge unjustly and favor the cause of the wicked? Defend the lowly and fatherless, render justice to the afflicted and needy, rescue the lowly and poor, deliver them from the land of the wicked. The gods neither know nor understand, wandering about in darkness, and all the world's foundations shake. I declare, gods, though you be offspring of the Most High, all of you, yet like any mortal you shall die, like any prince you shall fall. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for yours are all the nations. God, do not be silent. God, be not still and unmoved. See how your enemies rage. Your foes proudly raise their heads. They conspire against your people, plot against those you protect. They say, come, let us wipe out their nation. Let Israel's name be mentioned no more. Their scheme with one mind, they scheme with one mind in league against you. The tents of Ishmael and Edom, the people of Moab and Hagar, Gebal, Ammon and Amalek, Philistia and the inhabitants of Tyre, Assyria too in league with them gives aid to the descendants of Lot. 
Deal with them as with Midian, as with Sisera and Jabin at the, at the torrent Kishon. Those destroyed at Endor who became dung for the ground, make their nobles like Oreb and Zeb, all their princes like Zeba and Zalmuna, who made a plan together, let us seize the pastures of God. My God, turn them into withered grass, into chaff lying before the wind, as a fire raging through a forest, a flame setting mountains ablaze. Pursue them with your tempest, terrify them with your storm, cover their faces with shame till they pay you homage, Lord. Let them be dismayed and shamed forever. Let them perish in disgrace. Show them you alone are the Lord, the most high over all the earth. How lovely your dwelling, O Lord of hosts, my soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and flesh cry out for the living God. As the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest to sell, settle her young. My home is by your altars, Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Happy are those who dwell in your house. They never cease to praise you. Happy are those who find refuge in you whose hearts are set on pilgrim roads. As they pass through the Baca Valley, they find spring water to drink. Also from pools, the Lord provides water for those who lose their way. They pass through outer and inner wall and see the God of gods on Zion. Lord of hosts, hear my prayer. Listen, God of Jacob. O oh God, look kindly on your shield. Look upon the face of your anointed, better one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere, better the threshold of the house of my God than a home in the tents of the wicked. For a sun and shield is the Lord God, bestowing all grace and glory. The Lord withholds no good thing from those who walk without reproach, O oh Lord of hosts, happy are those who trust in you. You once favored, Lord, your land, restored the good fortune of Jacob. You forgave the guilt of your people, pardoned all their sins. You withdrew all your wrath, turned back your burning anger. Restore us once more, God our Savior. Abandon your wrath against us. Will you be angry with us forever? Drag out your anger for all generations. Please give us life again, that your people may rejoice in you. Show us, Lord, your love. Grant us your salvation. I will listen for the word of God. Surely the Lord will proclaim peace to his people, to the faithful, to those who trust in him. Near indeed is salvation for the loyal. Prosperity will fill our land. Love and truth will meet. Justice and peace will kiss. Truth will spring from the earth. Justice will look down from heaven. The Lord will surely grant abundance. Our land will yield its increase. Prosperity will march before the Lord and the good fortune will follow behind. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and ever, amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, glory be to you, O God. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help 
help and save, have mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Remembering our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. From the depths of night our soul longs for you, our God. For your commandments are a light upon the earth. Teach us, O God, your righteousness, your statutes, and your decrees. Enlighten the eyes of our minds, lest in sin we fall asleep until death. Cast out all darkness from our hearts. Favor us with the Son of Righteousness and keep our lives from danger by the seal of your Holy Spirit. Direct our steps and the steps of all people throughout the world along the road of peace. Grant that we may see the dawn and the whole day in joy and that we may offer you our morning prayers. For yours is the power and yours is the kingdom and the might and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit now and forever and ever. Page 800. And 26, the sessional hymn in the fifth tone. You have wrapped yourself in the streams of the Jordan. You have wrapped yourself in the streams of the Jordan. O Word of God, you gloriously clothe yourself in light. Therefore, renewing the nature of Adam, which was destroyed by the sin of disobedience, therefore we praise you and glorify your holy epiphany. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. You have wrapped yourself in the streams of the Jordan. O Word of God, you gloriously clothe yourself in light. Therefore, renewing the nature of Adam, which was destroyed by the sin of disobedience, therefore we praise you and glorify your holy epiphany. A reading from the tract, The Christian Combat, by our Father among the saints, the blessed Augustine, Bishop of Hippo. The crown of victory is promised only to those who engage in the struggle. Moreover, in the divine scriptures, we repeatedly read that we are to receive a crown if we emerge victorious. To obviate a lengthy enumeration of these passages, we mention St. Paul's unmistakable testimony. I have completed the work. I have finished the course. I have kept the faith. Now there remains for me a crown of justice. We ought to know then who that very adversary is and at whose defeat we are going to receive a crown. It is he whom our Lord first overcame. 
so that by abiding in him, that is the Lord, we too might be victorious. In fact, the power and wisdom of God and the word of God, God's only son through whom all things have been made, alone remains unchangeable, superior to every creature. And since even sinless creatures are subject to him, how much more so are sinful creatures? Seeing therefore that all the good angels are subject to him, how much more so are all the evil angels whose chief is the devil? But since the devil has deceived our nature, God's only begotten Son deigned to take upon himself our human nature so that the devil might thereby be, be vanquished and that having always been subject to him, he might be made subject to us also. He is referring to the devil where he says, the prince of this world has been cast out. Not that he has been cast out of the world, as certain heretics suppose, but that he has been cast out of the souls of men who hold fast to the word of God and are not lovers of the world of which he, the devil, is the prince. The devil rules over lovers of temporal goods belonging to this visible world, not because he is lord of this world, but because he is ruler of those covetous desires by which we long for everything that passes away. Consequently, those who neglect God God who is eternal, and instead love what is fleeting and changing, are made subject to him. For covetousness is the root of all evil, and some in their eagerness to get rich have strayed from the faith and have involved themselves in many troubles. By this covetousness, the devil rules within man and takes possession of his heart. Such are the lovers of this world. But the devil is cast out when we renounce this world with all our heart. The devil, who is prince of this world, is thus renounced when we renounce his corruption, his pomp, and his angels. Therefore, when the Lord himself was already invested with his victorious human nature, he said, know that I have overcome the world. Lest anyone pose the question of how we are to bring our body into submission to the Lord, I reply that it is easy to understand and to do, provided we are already living in subjection to God by a good will and an unfeigned charity. For every creature, willingly or unwillingly, has been made subject to its one God and Lord. This is a reminder to serve our Lord God with an undivided will. The just man serves him in a spirit of freedom, but the unjust man serves him like a shackled slave. Yet all are subject to divine providence. Some conform with filial obedience 
and cooperate with providence in the performance of good, while the rest are cast into chains like slaves being dealt with according to their merits or demerits. In this manner, Almighty God, Lord of all the universe, who, as it is written, hath made all things very good, has so ordered them that he can accomplish good from both the good and evil. What is done according to justice is done well. And it is according to justice that the good are happy, and it is according to justice that the wicked suffer punishment. Therefore, God deals aright with both the good and the wicked, for he does all things according to justice. Now they are good who serve God with an undivided will, but the wicked serve him out of necessity. No one escapes the laws of the Almighty. To observe what the law commands is one thing. To suffer the penalties it inflicts is something different. Wherefore, the good act according to the law, and the wicked suffer according to law. Nor should we be unsettled by the fact that during this life the just endure many grave and bitter hardships by reason of the body they carry about. No harm can come to those who can already voice the sentiments expressed by that spiritual man when he exclaimed in rapture, we exult in tribulations, knowing that tribulation works out endurance and endurance tried virtue, and tried virtue hope. And hope does not disappoint, because the love of God is poured forth in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. If in this life, where so much affliction is found, the good and just can not only endure patiently when suffering such trials, but can even glory in the love of God, what are we to think of the life promised us wherein we shall experience no bodily discomfort? For the bodies of the just will rise again for a different reason than the bodies of the wicked, as it is written. We shall not rise again, but we shall not all be changed. Excuse me. We shall all rise again, but we shall not all be changed. We shall all rise again, but we shall not all be changed. And lest anyone imagine that this change is promised not for the just, but rather for the wicked, thinking it a punishment, the apostle goes on to say, and the dead shall rise incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Accordingly, all those who are evil have been subjected to this ordinance. Each one is hurtful to himself, and all are obnoxious to one another. For that after which they reach out can only be loved to their destruction and can be easily taken away from them. And this they take from one another when they persecute one another. And when temporal goods are taken away from them, they are sorely afflicted because of their obsession with them. while those who take them away are gleeful. Such delight, however, is blindness and utter misery. 
for it ensnares the soul all the more and leads it on to worse afflictions. The fish is delighted too when failing to notice the hook, it devours the bait. But when the fisherman begins to draw his line, first the fish's inner parts are dislocated. After that, it is dragged to its destruction, away from all the pleasure that its joy in the bait had brought it. So it is with all who imagine that they are happy with temporal goods. They have swallowed the hook and wander aimlessly about with it. The time will come for them to experience how much anguish they have devoured in their greediness. The wicked can cause no harm to the good, for they do not deprive them of what they love. No one can take from them the object of their love and the source of their happiness. Bodily suffering makes wicked souls miserable, but born with fortitude, it purifies souls that are good. Thus, it is that both the wicked man and the evil angel do service for divine providence, but they are ignorant of the good which God effects through them. On this account, they receive wages not for services rendered, but in accordance with their demerits. By the prayers of our Holy Father, Augustine, the Blessed, Bishop of Hippo, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Page 128. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion. Blot out my offense more for my guilt and cleanse me from my My offense is truly, I know that my sin is always before me. That you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. Make me here rejoicing and gladness that the bones you have crushed may rejoice. A pure heart create for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Give me again the joy of your help, with the spirit of fervor sustain me. O rescue me, O God, my help, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. For in sacrifice you take no delight, for in offering from me you would refuse. I sacrifice In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, burnt offerings will be consumed. Then you will be offered young bulls on your altar. Page 828, the canon in the second tome. The Lord, powerful in battle, separated the foundations of the sea 
and led his servants across on dry land. But he covered their enemies with the waters, for he is covered with glory. Glory to you, O our God. Glory to you. In the streams of the Jordan, the Lord, the King of the ages, formed Adam anew, who had fallen into corruption. He had, and he broke into pieces the heads of the dragons that were hidden there, for he is gloriously triumphant. Glory to you. material flesh with the immaterial fire of his divinity wraps himself in the waters of the Jordan for he is gloriously triumphant. Glory to you. filth of mankind was cleansed in the Jordan for their sake, having by his own will made himself like them, while still remaining what he was, and he enlightens those in darkness, for he is gloriously triumphant. Glory to you. through the storm-tossed deep of the sea that God had turned into dry land. But the dark waters completely covered the chief captains of Egypt in a watery grave through the mighty strength of the right hand of the Master. Glory to you. from the desert to the streams of the Jordan. You, the king of the sun, bow down your head before him in order to rescue our fathers from the dark and cleanse the creation of its filth. Glory to you. in the river, it was corrupted by error, but you make it new again, and the Father bore ineffable witness to you, saying with a mighty voice, this is my beloved Son, equal to me by nature. Page 828, the repetition of the Irmos, the Lord, powerful in battle. <laughs> The Lord powerful in battle separated the foundations of the sea and led his servants across on dry ground. But he covered their enemies with the waters, for he is covered with glory. The Lord who bestows power to kings and raises up the strength of his anointed is born of a virgin and now draws near for baptism. Therefore let us the faithful cry out. No one is as holy as our God and no one is as righteous as you, O Lord. Glory to you, our God. Glory to you. Rejoice today, O Church 
of Christ, although before you were barren and sadly childless, for through water and the Spirit, sons have been given to you who raise their cry in faith. There is no one as holy as our God, and none is righteous but you, O Lord. So are we and make straight the paths for our God, raising your cry in faith. There is no one as holy as our God, and none is righteous but you, O Lord. Glory to you. and the jaws of the devouring lions have been broken. Let us then rejoice exceedingly and open wide our mouths, weaving with words a melody to the word whose delight it is to bestow gifts upon us. serpent and implanted death in the creation is now cast into darkness by Christ's coming in the flesh and by assailing the master the dawn that has shone forth upon us he crushes his own hateful and loathsome head glory to you had been overcome by the tyranny of greed. He grants a new birth to the dwellers upon earth, fashioning them anew. Thereby he accomplishes a glorious work, for he has come to deliver and protect mankind. Page 828. The Lord who bestows power to kings. The Lord who bestows power to kings and raises up the strength of his anointed is born of a virgin and now draws near for baptism. Therefore let us the faithful cry out. No one is as holy as our God and no one is as righteous as you, O Lord. Again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Come and save, have mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. Lord God, holy and incomprehensible, you told the light to shine out of darkness. You have given us rest in the sleep of night, and you have raised us to glorify and praise your goodness. We beg of your mercy, accept us who now worship you and thank you with all our strength. And grant all that we ask for our salvation. Reveal us to be children of light and of the day and heirs of your eternal good gifts. In the abundance of your mercy, Lord, remember all your people who invoke your love for mankind and aid those here present and who pray with us 
and those traveling abroad in every place of your kingdom who are in need of your loving kindness and help, especially our brothers and sisters in Ukraine. Be greatly merciful to all that we and all your people may persevere always in confidence, being saved in soul and body, so that we might glorify your magnificent and blessed name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. When you enlightened all things at the time of your manifestation, the sea of unbelief ebbed away and the Jordan River reversed its course, flowing uphill and carrying us to heaven. Through the prayers of your mother, O Christ God, keep us in the loftiness of your divine commands and save us. Page 100, 828, 828. The fourth Irmos, O Lord, he whom you called the voice of one crying in the wilderness. O Lord, he whom you called the voice of one crying in the wilderness, heard your voice when you thundered upon the waters, bearing witness to your Son. Having been filled with the Spirit, he cried out, You are Christ, the wisdom and power of God. Glory to you. is bright by nature being cleansed. The herald cried, How then shall I wash you in the waters? For you are the brightness of the glory, the image of the everlasting Father. How shall I, who am grass, touch with my hand the fire of your divinity? For you are Christ, the wisdom and power of God. Glory to you. displayed the holy reverence that he felt, perceiving that it was your voice that spoke from the bush, he quickly turned away his gaze. How then shall I lay my hand upon you? For you are Christ, the wisdom and power of God. Glory to you. standing soul and honored with the power of reason I still respect the things that have no soul for if I baptize you I shall have as my accusers the mountain that smoked with fire the sea that opened up and fled and this same Jordan that turned back on its course for you are Christ the wisdom and power of God to you, our God, glory to you. Cleansed by the fire of a mystic vision, the prophet sang the praises of the renewal of mortal man. Filled with the inspiration of the Spirit, he raised his voice telling of the incarnation of the ineffable word who has shattered the dominion of the strong. Sent 
forth from the Father. You have come to completely dispel the dark and evil night and the sins of mortal man. By your baptism, O blessed Lord, you will draw up with yourself bright suns from the streams of the Jordan. Glory to you. The herald cried out plainly to the creation, This is he who existed before me, though he comes after me according to the flesh. Like us in form, he has shown forth in the strength of the Godhead to drive away our hateful sin. Glory to you. for us in the lairs of the dragons in order to lead us back to the life-giving pastures of paradise, destroying the terrible snares which the enemy had laid for mankind. He makes a prisoner of him who wounded all mankind in the heel, and thus he saves creation. Glory to you. of life has come to set loose from condemnation Adam the first formed man and though as God he needs no cleansing yet for the sake of fallen man he is cleansed in the Jordan in his dreams he slew the enemy and grants the peace that surpasses all understanding page 829 Jesus, the Prince of Life, has come, come to, to set free Adam, the first created. And although as God he has no need of cleansing, for the sake of the fallen human race he is cleansed in the Jordan. He destroyed the enemy in the waters and grants the peace that is beyond all understanding. Glory to you, our God. Glory to you. A multitude without number came to be baptized by John. Standing in their midst, he raised his voice, saying, You disobedient ones, who told you to flee from the wrath to come? Offer worthy fruits of repentance to Christ, for he is present now and grants peace. Glory to you. searches their hearts. In his hand he has taken the winnowing fan, and in the fullness of his wisdom he cleanses the threshing floor of the whole world, dividing wheat from chaff, burning the barren, and granting eternal life to those who bring forth good fruit. Glory to you. spirit we have been washed from the poison of the dark and unclean enemy and we have set out upon a new path free from error 
that leads to gladness of heart past all attainment, which only they attain, whom God has reconciled to himself. Glory to you. obscurity of sin and in bonds that knew no escape. Raising him up, he laid him on his shoulders, and now in abundant floods he washes him clean with the ancient shame of Adam's sinfulness. Glory to you. of the stream of salvation, and let us look upon the word who gives us drink from the pure waters that satisfy our holy thirst, and he gently heals the disease of the world. Page 829. The repetition of the Irmos, Jesus, the Prince of Life, has come to set free Adam Jesus, the Prince of Life, has come to set free Adam, the first created, and although as God he has no need of cleansing, for the sake of the fallen human race he is cleansed in the Jordan. He destroyed the enemy in the waters, and grants peace that is beyond all understanding. The voice of the word, the candlestick of light, the morning star, and forerunner of the sun, Proclaimed in the wilderness to all peoples, Repent and be purified while time still remains, For Christ is at hand, The one who delivers the world from corruption. Glory to you. from God the Father without change, and made flesh from the Virgin without defilement. And as the forerunner teaches, it is not possible to untie his sandal straps, the bond that joins the word to our nature. It, he it is who delivers from error those born on earth. Glory, Glory to you. disobedient and do not believe that he is God, but through the Spirit and by the grace that comes through water, he grants a new birth to all who acknowledge his divinity, delivering them from their faults. Glory to you. manifest his beloved whom he had begotten from the womb he said truly this is my son of the same nature as myself bearing light he has come forth from mankind my living word made mortal man in divine providence glory to you Seriously. 
they swallowed up for three nights in the belly of the sea monster. The prophet came forth again in advance, manifesting to all our regeneration in the last times and our deliverance from the dragon that slays mankind. Glory to you. The voice of the word, the candlestick of light. Mm -hmm. The voice of the word, the, the candlestick, candlestick of light. The morning star and forerunner of the sun. Proclaimed in the wilderness to all peoples, repent and be purified while time still remains. For behold, Christ is at hand, the one who delivers the world from corruption. Pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. Help and save. Have mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord of mercy. Remembering our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. <clears throat> Treasury of all good, ever-flowing spring, Holy Father, wonder-worker, all-powerful ruler of all, we worship you and beg of your mercy and compassion, help and support us in our lowliness. Lord, remember those who pray to you and let our morning prayer rise like incense before you. Grant that no one of us may be put to shame, but surround us and the people of Ukraine. Surround them with your mercy. Lord, remember those who keep watch and sing of your glory and that of your only begotten Son and our God and of your Holy Spirit. Be their help and support and accept their prayers upon your heavenly spiritual altar. For you are our God and to you we give glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and forever and ever. Page 1278, the Kundakyon in the fourth tone, you have revealed yourself to the world today. You have re revealed yourself to the world today. And your light, O Lord, has shined on us. We recognize you and exclaim to you. You have come and revealed yourself, O inaccessible light. As the prophet said. 
As the prophet said, a great light has risen upon heathen Galilee, upon the land of Zebulon, the land of Naphtali, this light is Christ. A people living in darkness has seen a great light, a dawn appearing like lightning from Bethlehem. The Lord born from Mary, the son of justice, shed his rays upon the whole inhabited earth. Come then, naked children of Adam, let us clothe ourselves in him, that we may warm ourselves. You are a protection and veil to the naked, a light to those in darkness. You came and appeared, O oh, inaccessible light. You came and appeared, O oh, inaccessible light. The Synaxarion for this, the 26th day of January, on which we leave the Feast of the Theophany of our Lord according to the Julian calendar, and also commemorate our Venerable Father Xenophon, his wife Mary, and their sons Arcadius and John on the Gregorian calendar. Having opened the heavens, the baptism of Christ makes all those who have kept their new garments spotless enter through the opening. On this day of the Theophany, the forerunner baptizes Christ in the river. And for Xenophon, his wife Mary, and their sons Arcadius and John. To celebrate their departure, I offer a song as refreshment at my table to Xenophon and his sons and wife, a venerable family. He died on the 26th, but in heaven he was joined by his wife and sons. By their prayers, O our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Page 829. As they walked about in the fiery furnace, the three youths were preserved from all harm by the presence of an angel of God and the refreshing wind as cool as dew. Strengthened with these helps, they gratefully cried out, Blessed are you, and praised above all, O God of our fathers. Glory to you. in heaven, the angelic powers stood by the Jordan, watching the great condescensions of God, how he who holds dominion over the waters that are above the heavens stood in the waters in bodily form, he who is God of our fathers. Glory to you. cloud in which the people of Israel were once baptized by Moses the lawgiver as they journeyed from Egypt, prefigured the wonder of the baptism of God. The sea was an image of the water and the cloud an image of the spirit, whereby we are initiated and cry aloud, Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers. Glory to you. us 
the faithful, speak of divine things, and join the angels in never silent hymns to glorify the God in whom we have received initiation, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Trinity, consubstantial in persons, yet one God, to whom we sing, Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers. Page 829. As the Babylonian furnace poured forth through, it prefigured a wondrous mystery, how the Jordan received in its streams the immaterial fire and encircled the Creator when he was baptized in the flesh. All you faithful glorify and praise him above all forever. In hymns, let us greatly extol the Theotokos and Mother of Light. No tongue is capable of praising you worthily, and no mind, however superhuman, is able to extol you, O Mother of God. Good as you are, accept our faith, for you know our love of God. You are the guide of Christians, and we and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For all the powers of heaven praise you and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. The Savior who is grace and truth has been revealed in the waters of the Jordan and he shed light upon those who sleep in darkness and the shadow of death. The light to whom no one can draw near 
is revealed today. In the first tone, let everything that lives and that breathes give praise to the Lord, page 137. Let everything that lives and that breathes give praise to the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the highs. To you is due I him. Oh God. Praise him all his angels. Praise him all his hosts. To you is due I hear him, O oh God. <clears throat> Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, <clears throat> ever. Amen. The true light has appeared to bestow enlightenment upon all. The all-pure Christ is baptized with us. He sanctifies the water and becomes a cleansing for our souls. All that which appears outward and visible is earthly, and that which is understood the mind is greater than the heavens. Salvation is bestowed through washing, and the Spirit is received through water. By descending into the water, we ascend to God. How wonderful are your works, O Lord. Glory to you. Page 140. Glory to you, who have shown us the light. Glory to God in the highest, and to his people on earth, his good will. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, with the Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father and the Holy Spirit, we praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we thank you for your great glory. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, hear our prayer. Enlighten me with 
with your laws. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. I said, Lord, have mercy on me, you my soul, for I have sinned against you. O Lord, I have you, teach me to do your will, for you, O Lord, are my God. In you is the source of light, and in your light we see light. Keep on loving those who know you. O Holy God, on us, O God, in the greatness of your compassion. Moli moistu bi vesluchayim ipomelu. Ospode pomelu. Ospode pomelu. Ospode pomelu. Ospode pomelu. We also pray for our most holy universal pontiff, Francis, Pope of Rome. Our most blessed patriarch, Svetosal, our most reverend metropolitan, Boris, the God loving Bishop Andri, for those who serve and have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers and for all our brethren in Christ. <laughs> pray for this nation under God, for our government, and for all the military. We also pray for the people of Ukraine, for its government, and for all the armed forces there, that they might be strengthened and upheld in every good work and be averted from every evil work. We pray you, Lord, enable them. We pray you, Lord, to enable them to withstand any and all foreign aggression, 
Lord, look upon those who suffer today. Look upon the souls of the thousands who have already perished. Preserve the widows. Guard the orphans. Grant peace to the much suffering land of Ukraine. We pray and beseech you, Lord, speedily hear us and have mercy. We also pray for the people here present and for all the people of Ukraine who await your great and bountiful mercies for those who have been kind to us and for all Orthodox Christians. For you are a merciful and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Again and again, on bended knee, let us pray to the Lord. Our God, great and almighty, we, your sinful children, turn to you with humility in our hearts and bow our heads low before you. We beseech your loving kindness and abundant blessings upon the people of Ukraine during these days of great danger to their safety and well-being. Strengthen the people of Ukraine as they face this great danger, turning to you in the immeasurably deep faith, trust and love they have placed in you all their lives. Send your heavenly legions, O Lord, commanded by the patron of Kiev, the Archangel Michael, to crush the desires of the aggressor who desires, whose desire is to eradicate your people. Grant unity of mind, heart, and soul, O Lord, to all leaders in public service with those they serve. Unite them all into one great Christian family so that together, as brothers and sisters, they may glorify your majestic name, God in the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Wisdom. Blessed is the one who is blessed is Christ, our God, always now and forever and ever. Amen. Oh, God, strengthen the Orthodox Amen. faith forever Amen. and ever. O most holy Mother of God, save us. And by far more glorious than the seraphim, and from which you gave birth to God the Word, O true Mother of God, we magnify you. Glory be to you, Christ God, our hope. Glory be to you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, give the blessing. Christ, our true God, who for our salvation deigned to be baptized in the Jordan by John through the prayers of his Immaculate Mother, the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles of our venerable and God-bearing fathers and mothers, of the saints of Rus Ukraine and of all the saints will have mercy and save us for he is good and loves mankind. 
Глянь оком щирим, о Божий Сину, на нашу землю, на Україну. Зійшли із неба дар превеликий, щоб я славі. Слава!